Here's Christy Elliott. First time ball across, Stevenson. And that's his first league goal for Partick Thistle. Christy Elliott making moves down the right hand side. A perfect ball in. Stevenson sliding in. Shinny goes back to the goalkeeper. Inverness, of course, still trying to protect this unbeaten home record. That's flicked on. It finds Fraser. It's Stevenson again, and it's a second. Five minutes before half time. Stevenson with a brace in the first half here in the Highlands. Not many would have had them to win here. They've done an excellent job of it so far, though. And it's Elliott to Stevenson, the man who's done the damage. Stevenson again, and there's Fraser, and it's 3 0. This is quite incredible. Stevenson adds an assist to his two goals. Gary Fraser with his first since August. There's Balatone, they've got their fourth now. Just 11 minutes played in the second half. Partick Thistle lead by four goals to nil. McGinn and Hayes, it's left for Niall McGinn, headed by Goodwillie, and there's Adam Rooney. 1-0 Aberdeen. A simple finish for the Irishman. Goodwillie's header, and Chiesniak really should have held that. Logan. Fojut wins the header. Rankin. Now Suter under pressure. And Aberdeen forced the mistake from Dundee United. Niall McGinn now. Hayes is available and gets it from McGinn. Hayes clips it over the top, looking for Pollock, comes to Considine and Rooney. 2-0, Adam Rooney at the double. And Aberdeen have a cushion at Tannadice. It's a great move, Hayes over the top. That was so well weighted, Considine kept his cool, and Rooney couldn't miss. Brian Graham from the penalty spot, puts St Johnson one up. He scored the only goal in a 1-0 win here in the League Cup in September, and he's done the job again. Ali Crawford clips that one in low, but it's well defended by McPaik, Crawford goes all the way back to Grant Gillespie, and they'll try again here, Devlin rises well, Tony Andrew, and we've not even played three minutes, and the league's top goal scorer has got his 10th Premiership goal of the season, what a good job Devlin did to beat McGinn in the air, and there was Andrew with the finish, Crawford, nicely worked, and drew it, and then swung across, Antoine Courier, what a hit! It's 2-0, and the start just gets better and better for Ackies. Antoine Courier on the end of Henry's cross, and that was quite magnificent. Devlin just knocks it high into the air. Ferry. Now to Irvin. Stewart comes short. Nice turn by Greg Stewart. This could be a way back in for Dundee. It's a wonderful finish. And there's still plenty of time left. 29 minutes to go. Greg Stewart scores his ninth goal of the season. Quinn goes upfield. Jervis giving O'Brien a problem. He's done well to recover the defender. Could still be on, though, for Ross County. This is Carey. Carey. Sidesteps one. Still going. Cross. Well blocked. Out it comes, though, to record. Arkan went up. Here's Dingwall. Good save. Dingwall again. And at the second attempt, Ross County are in front. 
right on the stroke of half time. And you can see what it means to the Ross County players. This could be a big goal for them. Ross County can move off the bottom with a win today. A draw would actually do that too. Francis Angle to Oyama. Now Ainsworth, the substitute, goes past his man. Clipped in, Sutton, it's 1-1. John Sutton celebrates, but in the process, he collided with Josh Law. There will be treatment for the midfielder, but Ainsworth making an immediate impact. Sutton with the header, 1-1. Britain forward. Cleared high. And out comes Saunders, he couldn't get there. Law, Law gets a touch on, and it's Oyama. Henrik Oyama to take the shot on. Manuel are in front. Two goals in just six minutes. And it's Henrik Oyama who makes it 2-1. Three goals in his last four games. And what a turnaround for Motherwell. Ross County thought so. Dingwall. Woods. Angle couldn't get there. Saunders deflected. Arkan went up. Motherwell scramble it clear. But it's still on for Ross County. Drama at the finish here at Fur Park. Cardle, Gardine, Dingwall! It's 2-2! And what a finish! 2 all in the dying moments, and Ross County have rescued a point.